Trust God to fight for you. Exodus chapter 14 verses 13 to 14 says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today, for the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. God has always been in the business of fighting battles for believers. He, unlike the man-made, fights for his creation and not the other way around. Fighting the battles of his children has been one factor that distinguishes our true, ever-living God from other things that men call gods. Unlike other gods, their worshippers fight for their so-called gods, but not so with the Almighty God. He is the one who fights the battles of his children, allowing them peace and rest of mind. From the scripture we read and others like it, we saw how God took it upon himself to fight the battles of the believers in him. For instance, from our text, God instructed the people through Moses not to fear but to stand still instead and watch him destroy and defeat their enemies for them. How he will deliver them from their enemies, oppressors, and slave masters, as well as their resolve to remain peaceful, calm, and watch him. What a God! The God that fights the battles of his own, always and at all times. And that wasn't the first time God would be fighting his children's battles, he fought for them against the Philistines, the Moabites, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, the Jebusites, and every person or nation that tries to oppose or obstruct his plan for man by obeying him. Interestingly enough, the God fighting our battle syndrome did not end with the ancients. It has always been in God's character, and he still fights believers' battles today. One thing that is sure when God fights a person's or a nation's battle is a victory, because no one can fight or wage war with God. For he is the creator of all things and wasn't created by anyone, and he has made all things for his pleasure. God has promised to fight our battles today, just as he has done for obedient followers in the past. The only thing he asks of you is faith and obedience, and he assures us today, as he always has, that he will never leave or forsake us in our hour of need. All we have to do is call on him. He says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call upon me, and I will answer you. He assures us in Hebrews 13 verse 5. That he will never leave or forsake us. If we are in his will, our battles are his battles. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Now, let us pray. Our Father in God, Ancient of Days, Mighty Man in Battle, Lord God of the Host, I come this hour to you. And with a heart filled with thanksgiving and appreciation and a mouth filled with praise and thanksgiving, I come. Thank you for your kindness, mercies, graces, provision, protection, and providence. And for your divine protection, care, and deliverance. Thank you, dearest Heavenly Father, for the gifts of life, health, and hope. For without you, these wouldn't have been possible, for you are the source of life and the creator of all things. Dear Father Lord, because you have asked me to ask, it shall be given to me. Lord, I come to you with requests this hour. My request, dear Lord, is that you arise and fight my battles. Many people are enraged at me for no apparent reason. And they are coming at me from different fronts, ranging from physical to spiritual to intellectual, among others. My dearest all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-capable God, the God of all possibilities, arise in your strength and might and fight for me against all my physical and spiritual enemies, overt and covert enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, fight for me against every being or entity that is out to harm me, my family, and my household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, fight for me also against the enemies that I can see and the enemies that I cannot see. Dear Father Lord, you know that the enemy, the devil, is never happy to see your children doing well and giving you your well-deserved glory. He will always seek for ways to destroy or corrupt our joy, and he will always want to attack us to either still, kill, or destroy our joy and the sources thereof, for those are his threefold mission, to steal, kill, or destroy. But thank you, dear Heavenly Father, and blessed be your name, 
for sending us the Lord Jesus Christ, who came and restored hope, dignity, and the power of victory over the devil to us. Thank you once more, Father Lord, Holy One of Jacob, who has not allowed nor will ever allow his own to be put to shame. The Lord, who never sleeps nor slumbers, so that we and your children may sleep. Because you have loved us, even from the beginning. And nothing can separate us from your love. For it is because of your love for us that you sent your one and only Son, that we may be saved through faith in him, Lord, what else can you do for us Lord? And after redeeming us, dear Lord, you hadn't abandoned us nor allowed us to suffer shame, defeat, or disgrace at the hands of the enemy, in keeping to your word of promises, especially as written in Isaiah 54 verse 15 through 17, which says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Thank you for your assurance, Father. Therefore, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, arise and fight for me. For many, they are that do not want me to live, dear Father Lord, disappoint them. Let their malevolent imaginations and morbid expectations perish with them. Father, as your word says, I render powerless every weapon devised by any being, person, or thing to destroy, discredit or frustrate your gifts and graces bestowed upon my life and family. In the name of Jesus Christ, every tongue cursing me, enchanting divination, and abracadabra against me is silenced. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel and counteract their curses and enchantments, rendering them null and void and of no effect against me, my family, my household, and our destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ, every diabolic and evil counsel against me, like the counsel of Ahitophel against David, I turn into foolishness. In the name of Jesus Christ, Dear Father, as the psalmist will pray, Lord, consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Lord, keep my soul and deliver me, do not let me be ashamed because I have placed my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles, these and more I ask of you, dear Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Dear Father Lord, fight for me in both hidden and open battles, fight for me from every side, just as your word says that, the Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. Therefore, dear Lord, fight for me against all my enemies, no matter how many ways they may come, and cause them to be routed and put to flight from every direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be defeated and humiliated from every side. Allow them to suffer as you have promised to deal with my enemies and oppressions. For you said in your word of Isaiah 49:26 that you will feed those who oppress me with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood, as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that you, the Lord, are my Savior and my Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Dear Father, Lord, let their fears come upon them as you promised in Proverbs 10 verse 24, saying, The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Dear Father Lord, grant me my desire for peace and freedom from all enemy operations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Lord, for answering, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for my listeners, who desire that you fight their battles for them. Dear Father Lord, mighty man in battle, warrior, the Lord who fights his people's battles while they only sing. Dear Father Lord, I pray to you in the name of Jesus Christ, to fight the battles of every listener on this platform, and give them a sweet and sweat-free victory over every operation of the enemy, the devil, and his cohorts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that you have answered us. In Jesus' name, 
we pray. Amen. God bless you.